Surveillance video from the Bates County Sheriff's Department captures the moment the west wall of this building came crashing down. A plume of debris spreading several blocks through downtown Butler. The rest of that crumbled wall torn down to prevent another collapse. Came down pretty good. Nobody was inside and no one was hurt. The building, a former Mexican restaurant that sat empty most of the year. The news spread quick and dozens came to the square to watch the partial demolition. Then they said they were going to knock the front wall down for structural issues and so I decided to hang out and watch the show. It's a great loss to the community and great loss to us. This building once provided much more than a show. The upstairs, part of the Bates County Elks Lodge's biggest fundraiser, a fall haunted house. And then I seen the wall was caved in and the first thing that went through my mind is I was glad we weren't open and there weren't any kids in there. Hundreds of kids flock to this building for the haunted house that's been a staple of the community for 10 years. No, it, it's done. We, the building's done. It's slated as unsafe and, and uh, we're not even going to be able to get any of our stuff out of there. So uh, we're just probably going to be starting over from square one. We got an engineer coming in Monday to evaluate the building. So until then, we're going to have to keep everybody in. This building coming down after strong storms moved through the area, but investigators say those did not play a part in this collapse. Of course, the building's probably over 100 years old. The fatigue of the building, the wall probably gave loose. For those in Butler, it could have been a lot worse. They're just glad this did not turn into a tragedy. Matt Evans, KBC 9 News.